in the beginning of the year, I was doing uh, just a quick review of the movies that were coming out, a couple of TV shows, and they do have some good stuff coming out, and they do have, you know, bad stuff, more bad than good, and, you know, you look through what's, you know, some of the uh, trailers that have come out the past couple of days, and it's just, it seems like the same old, same old, same old, and flipping through, I, I saw this, and I had hope, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Naked Gun Reboot hopes to start shooting this summer, says Liam Neeson. We're getting Naked Gun back. Uh, this article is from the Collider. Uh, a fourth film in the beloved Naked Gun franchise has been in the cards for some time now. But through production woes, script rewrites, and creative differences, it has yet to materialize. It was back in October 2022 that a reboot project came as close to as ever been to becoming a reality. As Paramount Pictures officially gave the green light to the film with Liam Neeson taking the leading role from the series frontman, the late great Leslie Nielsen. You know, it's very interesting that they're going to be using uh, uh, Liam Nielsen. Um, I, I haven't even looked at this article, so we're kind of like visiting the first time. I mean, I, I don't see him re reprising the, the role. I mean, it, it's just a legendary role. And, and if you haven't had an opportunity to watch the older uh, Naked Gun movies, I mean, they're tacky for the time. And, and they're just funny. And they're good. And, and, I mean, let's see what else they got here, though. Uh, recently, uh, Collar's own Steve Wintrab, yeah, had the opportunity to talk to uh, with Nielsen for Marlowe, his landmark 100th film. Uh, what it says here, uh, and touch on a future project, the actor says that the hope is uh, that production should be starting this summer. Okay, so that's exciting. See, we have hope that uh, that there might be... What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Anyways, uh, we have hope for, for something good. I mean, this movie can go one or two ways. It can go woke or paramount the way that I see it. Uh, they just made a ton of fucking money with uh, Top Gun, so they know where they're going to make money. And I think this whole uh, woke nonsense, they're saying they're losing a ton a ton of money. So, I mean, uh, let's see what we got on here with with, uh, with uh, Naked Gun. Uh, during the interview, Winthrop posed the question, if the Naked Gun, pro if the Naked Gun Project is still going ahead in the future... To which Nielsen confirmed that the plans to move forward with the project, with the goal being to get it started this year. So, yes, we're waiting on a script. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're hoping it's happening this year, maybe in the summertime. Okay, uh, he said. Winthrop followed up by asking if the film is a priority for everyone involved, to which uh, Nielsen answered, yeah, Paramount Studios, I think. I approached Zach McFarland. Okay. Uh, he and his team are working on it. This, uh, working on it. Uh, the scripts. Okay, so... Uh, shit, see? Catch-22, but you know what? Uh, let's see if uh, Seth MacFarlane's fair and he keeps his uh, fucking politics out of it. We'll see about that. Uh, while the greater details of the film are kept under the wraps, a previous mention October report stated that Neeson will be playing Frank Drebin Jr., the son of, uh, what is it, Neeson's lovable yet not-so-bright detective. Okay, so that's, you know what, that's smart to do it that way. Uh, plans for a fourth film has existed since 2009, when uh, Nielsen was set to reprise his role as Frank Drebin. The project never materialized, and plans for a direct sequel were put on hold following uh, Nielsen's passing in 2010. Uh, this new reboot process was first announced in 2013 and has gone through a timulous development. Yeah, no shit, especially with everything that's gone on with the virus and, I mean, fuck. Uh, as Nielsen noted, Seth MacFarlane is producing a film and was brought on to develop the film in January 2021 and has for years voices what to have Nielsen as the son of uh, Drebin. Uh, Paramount has been no stranger to making legacy sequels to beloved franchises with the absolute blockbuster Top Gun Maverick, great movie by the way if you haven't seen it, uh, warm, warmly received by both critics and audiences as a great sequel to the original 1986 film. There is a man right there, man. What a fucking rest in peace. Hey, you guys remember when he farted on that TV show live? What's happened? That's Sounds the other thing about the humor is you have to pay attention to it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, who else is working on a new Naked Gun film? Let's see. Outside of Nielsen in a starring role, additional cast members haven't yet been announced 
for this new Naked Gun project. Uh, the October report stated that Akiva Schaefer, who most recently directed 2022's Chippendale Rescue Rangers, which I heard it was pretty good. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to check out. Uh, set to direct the project with Dan Greger and Doug Mad, who also work alongside Schaefer on Rescue Rangers, are set to pen the screenplay. McFarland is producing alongside Eric Huggins via their Fuzzy Door Productions company, with Schaefer also serving as executive producer. Uh, I guess there's going to be updates on this coming up. You know, the way that I see it, there's something to look forward to. I mean, if you guys haven't seen the uh, the original uh, Naked Gun films and even Police Squad, where, where this originated from, uh, check it out. Uh, I'm actually excited about this film. Let's see if they do uh, any justice to the original, but I would love to see what kind of spin uh, they're going to put in this movie. Uh, why don't you guys let me know down in the comments uh, what you think. Make sure to like and subscribe. Protecting the safety of the Queen is a task that's gladly accepted by police squad. For no matter how silly the idea of having a Queen might be to us, as Americans we must be gracious and considerate hosts. Uh, thank you, Lieutenant Drebin. Of course, we all have a stake in seeing that this portion of the Queen's American Goodwill Tour is completely and we can all take pride that the Queen has chosen our um, Indeed, it is for all the people who will be able to share in the uh, celebration, especially in the will be the Queen's public appearances. Um, we also would like to... Whoops! 